So the most important information that we can give is how severe the anomaly is. In most instances that we see of sacrococcygeal teratoma, or SCT, we simply follow the moms and the fetuses with ultrasounds every few weeks to make sure that the mass isn't growing larger. And when the mass grows larger, then that's a worrisome sign for us. And when the mass grows larger, sometimes this problem of hydrops fatalis arises. However, in most instances, what we simply do is get serial ultrasounds and follow the pregnancy along. The most important thing that will determine, in my estimation, of whether your fetus will develop heart failure is whether the tumor is predominantly solid or predominantly cystic. If it is cystic, then my concerns are much less. If it is solid, my concerns are much greater. The position of the tumor is also important for the prognosis of your fetus. If the tumor is predominantly external to your fetus, that means it is protruding off of your fetus's uh, distal spine, then those are much easier to deal with. If the tumor in, goes inside of the fetus, into the pelvis, or worse still, into the abdomen, then unfortunately things are worse. So it's very important for the person doing your examination to have a knowledge of whether or not and the ability to determine whether or not the tumor is extending interiorly.